All right, so here we are. Uh, I'll let this battery charge overnight and green lights lit. It's fully charged. I'll throw the meter on there and let you see where it's floating out. We're at 1320. Okay, basically uh, I kept checking on this thing about once an hour yesterday and it took somewhere between six and seven hours for this battery to take a full charge. So it's something to think about. Like I said, a lot of people, they get a new battery and they just put it in a vehicle, they don't charge it. So as you can see at 1.5 amps, it took over six hours to put a proper charge in this battery. So. All right, next thing I want to do is swap out the battery and uh, let you hear it spinning up the motor. All right, so got the new battery in. Got all the uh, connections cleaned up and got it mounted securely. That's important too, you know, you don't want that battery flopping around. So make sure you got it uh, properly attached to the vehicle. All right, let's start this thing up with the new battery. dramatic difference. Definitely uh, cranking up a lot faster. So as you can see, uh, some simple tests can help you kind of evaluate where your battery's at and if it's time to replace it or not. And obviously in this application, uh, it was probably well overdue. And uh, definitely got my money worth out of that last battery I had. So hopefully I'll get another 10 years out of this battery. All right, so here's the battery out of the Mustang. And you can see right there, the cold cranking amps is 595. And a little tip, whenever you're dealing with batteries, you wanna be as safe as possible. At least wear safety glasses, some gloves, and realistically, you should probably use a face shield. Cause when a battery blows up, it's nothing but bad news. All right, I'm trying to remember when I bought this battery for my car, and I'm guessing that means June of 04, which seems about right. Pretty sure I replaced it in 04. So you figure I got almost nine and a half years out of this battery. And when I bought this battery, I did not give it a full charge, and probably the first year I had it, it was not on a battery tender. So. This should give you a good idea of what kind of a lifespan you can expect out of a battery that gets regularly maintained. Three year warranty. Made it uh, pretty far past that. So, yeah, like I said, you know, really got to give some thought to using a battery maintainer because it can really. Uh, significantly extend the life of your battery.